Let's discuss the last person we interviewed before we see the next candidate. What did you think, Miles? After reading his resume, I expected more from him. Although his experience looked relevant, he wasn't able to answer our basic questions. That's true. And I'm afraid he wouldn't contribute much to our team. Let's discuss the last person we interviewed before we see the next candidate. What did you think, Miles? After reading his resume, I expected more from him. Although his experience looked relevant, he wasn't able to answer our basic questions. That's true. And I'm afraid he wouldn't contribute much to our team. Let's discuss the last person we interviewed before we see the next candidate. What did you think, Miles? After reading his resume, I expected more from him. Although his experience looked relevant, he wasn't able to answer our basic questions. That's true. And I'm afraid he wouldn't contribute much to our team. Hi, is Mr. Brown in? My name is Linda Torres and I'm here for a job interview. Oh, I have been expecting you. My name is Daniel and I'm Mr. Brown's secretary. He is currently with other candidates. Take a seat. While you wait, could you fill in the forms, please? And here's your temporary ID badge. Be sure to wear it at all times while you are in the building. Sure, I will. By the way, is there any place that I can use the Internet around here? I need to check my email. Go straight until you see this sign for the mailroom. If you turn left right there, you will see several computers for visitors. Hi, is Mr. Brown in? My name is Linda Torres and I'm here for a job interview. Oh, I have been expecting you. My name is Daniel and I'm Mr. Brown's secretary. He is currently with other candidates. Take a seat. While you wait, could you fill in the forms, please? And here's your temporary ID badge. Be sure to wear it at all times while you are in the building. Sure, I will. By the way, is there any place that I can use the Internet around here? I need to check my email. Go straight until you see this sign for the mailroom. If you turn left right there, you will see several computers for visitors. Hi, is Mr. Brown in? My name is Linda Torres and I'm here for a job interview. Oh, I have been expecting you. My name is Daniel and I'm Mr. Brown's secretary. He is currently with other candidates. Take a seat. While you wait, could you fill in the forms, please? And here's your temporary ID badge. Be sure to wear it at all times while you are in the building. Sure, I will. By the way, is there any place that I can use the Internet around here? I need to check my email. Go straight until you see this sign for the mailroom. If you turn left right there, you will see several computers for visitors. Good morning. My name is Billy Tang. I'm here to meet with Mr. Suzuki for a job interview. Hi, Mr. Tang. Mr. Suzuki is interviewing other candidates right now. Please have a seat over there. Would you like something to drink while you're waiting? No, thanks. I just had a cup of coffee on my way here. By the way, do you have any idea about health insurance and the pension plan the company offers? I'm sorry. I just started working here. I think you can get some information on them during your interview. Good morning. My name is Billy Tang. I'm here to meet with Mr. Suzuki for a job interview. Hi, Mr. Tang. Mr. Suzuki is interviewing other candidates right now. Please have a seat over there. Would you like something to drink while you're waiting? No, thanks. I just had a cup of coffee on my way here. By the way, do you have any idea about health insurance and the pension plan the company offers? I'm sorry. I just started working here. I think you can get some information on them during your interview. Good morning. My name is Billy Tang. I'm here to meet with Mr. Suzuki for a job interview. Hi, Mr. Tang. Mr. Suzuki is interviewing other candidates right now. Please have a seat over there. Would you like something to drink while you're waiting? No, thanks. I just had a cup of coffee on my way here. By the way, do you have any idea about health insurance and the pension plan the company offers? I'm sorry. I just started working here. I think you can get some information on them during your interview. Hi, I only started working here this week and today is my second day at work. I just read the email about the training class that the new employees are required to take. Do you have a schedule of when these classes are offered? I may have to attend a few conference calls with my manager starting from next week. And I want to check if there is a scheduling conflict. Well, these classes are offered online so it's possible to take them at any time. You can take them whenever you want as long as they do not hinder your work productivity. Great. My manager suggests that I start with the business communication course. How do I register for that? Just go to the company employee's website. Click on the Work Skill Training tab. It gives a good explanation of the whole registration process. 
If you have any further questions, just email the HR department. Hi, I only started working here this week and today is my second day at work. I just read the email about the training class that the new employees are required to take. Do you have a schedule of when these classes are offered? I may have to attend a few conference calls with my manager starting from next week, and I want to check if there is a scheduling conflict. Well, these classes are offered online, so it's possible to take them at any time. You can take them whenever you want as long as they do not hinder your work productivity. Great. My manager suggests that I start with the business communication course. How do I register for that? Just go to the company employee's website. Click on the Work Skill Training tab. It gives a good explanation of the whole registration process. If you have any further questions, just email the HR department. Hi. I only started working here this week and today is my second day at work. I just read the email about the training class that the new employees are required to take. Do you have a schedule of when these classes are offered? I may have to attend a few conference calls with my manager starting from next week, and I want to check if there is a scheduling conflict. Well, these classes are offered online, so it's possible to take them at any time. You can take them whenever you want as long as they do not hinder your work productivity. Great. My manager suggests that I start with the business communication course. How do I register for that? Just go to the company employee's website. Click on the Work Skill Training tab. It gives a good explanation of the whole registration process. If you have any further questions, just email the HR department. Mr. Baker, I'd like to congratulate you on being here today. We narrowed the list of candidates for the position of the marketing manager down from 15 to 3. Our hiring committee reviewed your resume and we were really impressed with your relevant job experience. Would you please tell us more about your past experience? As you are already aware, I've been working as a car salesperson for a decade. I've been employee of the year five times in a row as well. And if you were hired here at TM Motors, what would you like to do first? Well, I'd like to come up with various marketing strategies and ideas to attract more young people because they are the biggest consumers in the industry these days. Mr. Baker, I'd like to congratulate you on being here today. We narrowed the list of candidates for the position of the marketing manager down from 15 to 3. Our hiring committee reviewed your resume and we were really impressed with your relevant job experience. Would you please tell us more about your past experience? As you are already aware, I've been working as a car salesperson for a decade. I've been employee of the year five times in a row as well. And if you were hired here at TM Motors, what would you like to do first? Well, I'd like to come up with various marketing strategies and ideas to attract more young people because they are the biggest consumers in the industry these days. Mr. Baker, I'd like to congratulate you on being here today. We narrowed the list of candidates for the position of the marketing manager down from 15 to 3. Our hiring committee reviewed your resume and we were really impressed with your relevant job experience. Would you please tell us more about your past experience? As you are already aware, I've been working as a car salesperson for a decade. I've been employee of the year five times in a row as well. And if you were hired here at TM Motors, what would you like to do first? Well, I'd like to come up with various marketing strategies and ideas to attract more young people because they are the biggest consumers in the industry these days. Alex, I can't attend the meeting with our purchasing department this afternoon because I'll be visiting a client. Could you go instead? Sorry, but I have to finish editing the catalog by tomorrow morning, and those purchasing meetings usually last all afternoon. Okay. Well, maybe I can go see the client this morning, and then be back here in time for this afternoon's meeting. Alex, I can't attend the meeting with our purchasing department this afternoon because I'll be visiting a client. Could you go instead? Sorry, but I have to finish editing the catalog by tomorrow morning, and those purchasing meetings usually last all afternoon. Okay. Well, maybe I can go see the client this morning, and then be back here in time for this afternoon's meeting. Alex, I can't attend the meeting with our purchasing department this afternoon because I'll be visiting a client. Could you go instead? 
Sorry, but I have to finish editing the catalog by tomorrow morning, and those purchasing meetings usually last all afternoon. Okay. Well, maybe I can go see the client this morning, and then be back here in time for this afternoon's meeting. Hello, Rachel. Do you know what time the staff meeting begins today? It is supposed to start at noon. But I may be a little late since I have an interview with an applicant for the secretary position. As you know, it has been vacant for two weeks. It's hard for me to take care of everything in my office without any assistance. I know. I hope you will find a qualified one. By the way, can you tell me about the agenda for today's meeting? Five managers, including me, are supposed to make presentations regarding various topics. Jack, the marketing manager, will describe our new ad campaign that will be launched at the end of the month. And I'm going to detail our annual budget, but I'm not sure what the other three managers are supposed to talk about. Hello, Rachel. Do you know what time the staff meeting begins today? It is supposed to start at noon, but I may be a little late since I have an interview with an applicant for the secretary position. As you know, it has been vacant for two weeks. It's hard for me to take care of everything in my office without any assistance. I know. I hope you will find a qualified one. By the way. Can you tell me about the agenda for today's meeting? Five managers, including me, are supposed to make presentations regarding various topics. Jack, the marketing manager, will describe our new ad campaign that will be launched at the end of the month, and I'm going to detail our annual budget. But I'm not sure what the other three managers are supposed to talk about. Hello, Rachel. Do you know what time the staff meeting begins today? It is supposed to start at noon. But I may be a little late since I have an interview with an applicant for the secretary position. As you know, it has been vacant for two weeks. It's hard for me to take care of everything in my office without any assistance. I know. I hope you will find a qualified one. By the way, can you tell me about the agenda for today's meeting? Five managers, including me, are supposed to make presentations regarding various topics. Jack, the marketing manager, will describe our new ad campaign that will be launched at the end of the month. And I'm going to detail our annual budget, but I'm not sure what the other three managers are supposed to talk about. Hello, Mr. Washington. This is Lucy. I'm calling to let you know I won't be able to make it to today's meeting on time due to heavy snow here at Sydney Airport. All outbound flights have been grounded. That's too bad. But I don't want to have a meeting without you. Everyone wants to know what happened in the marketing seminar you attended. Well, the forecast says the weather won't get better until the end of the day. If I can take the first flight tomorrow morning, I'll be able to return to the office by 1 p.m. All right, let me talk to Jim. If he allows us to move the meeting to tomorrow afternoon, everything will be fine. Be sure to keep your mobile phone on so I can keep you updated. Hello, Mr. Washington. This is Lucy. I'm calling to let you know I won't be able to make it to today's meeting on time due to heavy snow here at Sydney Airport. All outbound flights have been grounded. That's too bad, but I don't want to have a meeting without you. Everyone wants to know what happened in the marketing seminar you attended. Well, the forecast says the weather won't get better until the end of the day. If I can take the first flight tomorrow morning, I'll be able to return to the office by 1 p.m. All right, let me talk to Jim. If he allows us to move the meeting to tomorrow afternoon, everything will be fine. Be sure to keep your mobile phone on so I can keep you updated. Hello, Mr. Washington. This is Lucy. I'm calling to let you know I won't be able to make it to today's meeting on time due to heavy snow here at Sydney Airport. All outbound flights have been grounded. That's too bad. But I don't want to have a meeting without you. Everyone wants to know what happened in the marketing seminar you attended. Well, the forecast says the weather won't get better until the end of the day. If I can take the first flight tomorrow morning, I'll be able to return to the office by 1 p.m. All right. Let me talk to Jim. If he allows us to move the meeting to tomorrow afternoon, everything will be fine. Be sure to keep your mobile phone on so I can keep you updated. Ms. Connor, one of the organizers of the Business Leaders Conference just called. They'd like you to lead a workshop on Sunday, June sixth. What would you like me to tell them? The problem is, I've already agreed to attend a seminar in Toronto that weekend. Oh, that's right. Well, the seminar in Toronto is on Saturday, and this workshop would be on Sunday. If you'd like, I can check to see if there are any flights from Toronto back to Minneapolis in the evening on Saturday. Yes, I suppose I could try to do both. Thanks, Michael. Ms. Connor, one of the organizers of the Business Leaders Conference just called. 
They'd like you to lead a workshop on Sunday, June sixth. What would you like me to tell them? The problem is, I've already agreed to attend a seminar in Toronto that weekend. Oh, that's right. Well, the seminar in Toronto is on Saturday, and this workshop would be on Sunday. If you'd like, I can check to see if there are any flights from Toronto back to Minneapolis in the evening on Saturday. Yes, I suppose I could try to do both. Thanks, Michael. Ms. Connor, one of the organizers of the Business Leaders Conference just called. They'd like you to lead a workshop on Sunday, June sixth. What would you like me to tell them? The problem is, I've already agreed to attend a seminar in Toronto that weekend. Oh, that's right. Well, the seminar in Toronto is on Saturday, and this workshop would be on Sunday. If you'd like, I can check to see if there are any flights from Toronto back to Minneapolis in the evening on Saturday. Yes, I suppose I could try to do both. Thanks, Michael. Hi, Kevin. How was your business trip to New York last week? I heard you were attending the international marketing seminar. Yes, I had a great time there. Everyone said it was quite informative. What attracted me most was Mr. Johnson's presentation. It was about the latest marketing strategies and skills that I'm interested in. He emphasized the importance of focusing on online marketing. Now I think I've got some ideas about how to expand our business in Europe. Great! I'm very interested in various online marketing strategies too. Why don't you share your ideas with us at our staff meeting scheduled this afternoon? Sure. Why not? Let me get my assistant to organize all my information from the seminar. By the way, the meeting starts at three, right? Hi, Kevin. How was your business trip to New York last week? I heard you were attending the international marketing seminar. Yes, I had a great time there. Everyone said it was quite informative. What attracted me most was Mr. Johnson's presentation. It was about the latest marketing strategies and skills that I'm interested in. He emphasized the importance of focusing on online marketing. Now I think I've got some ideas about how to expand our business in Europe. Great! I'm very interested in various online marketing strategies too. Why don't you share your ideas with us at our staff meeting scheduled this afternoon? Sure. Why not? Let me get my assistant to organize all my information from the seminar. By the way, the meeting starts at three, right? Hi, Kevin. How was your business trip to New York last week? I heard you were attending the international marketing seminar. Yes, I had a great time there. Everyone said it was quite informative. What attracted me most was Mr. Johnson's presentation. It was about the latest marketing strategies and skills that I'm interested in. He emphasized the importance of focusing on online marketing. Now I think I've got some ideas about how to expand our business in Europe. Great! I'm very interested in various online marketing strategies too. Why don't you share your ideas with us at our staff meeting scheduled this afternoon? Sure. Why not? Let me get my assistant to organize all my information from the seminar. By the way, the meeting starts at three, right? Hello, is Mr. Smith in the office? I'm here for the delivery from McDonald Office Supplies. I'm afraid he is not here. He is talking with overseas clients in the meeting room right now. If it's urgent, I can go and see if he's available for a minute. Otherwise, please give me your phone number, and I'll ring you when he's back in the office. Well, I don't think it's urgent because this is just a box of copy paper he ordered last week. If you don't mind, I'll leave it with you. But you need to sign here. No problem. Where should I put my signature? Hello, is Mr. Smith in the office? I'm here for the delivery from McDonald Office Supplies. I'm afraid he is not here. He is talking with overseas clients in the meeting room right now. If it's urgent, I can go and see if he's available for a minute. Otherwise, please give me your phone number. And I'll ring you when he's back in the office. Well, I don't think it's urgent because this is just a box of copy paper he ordered last week. If you don't mind, I'll leave it with you. But you need to sign here. No problem. Where should I put my signature? Hello, is Mr. Smith in the office? I'm here for the delivery from McDonald Office Supplies. I'm afraid he is not here. He is talking with overseas clients in the meeting room right now. If it's urgent, I can go and see if he's available for a minute. Otherwise, please give me your phone number, and I'll ring you when he's back in the office. Well, I don't think it's urgent because this is just a box of copy paper he ordered last week. If you don't mind, I'll leave it with you. But you need to sign here. No problem. Where should I put my signature? 
Sam, I'd like to know if you shipped laser toner cartridges and other printer and toner supplies from the warehouse this morning. I want you to make sure these items are delivered to Bear Securities in Denver on time. Everything is going as planned, Ms. Black. Actually, some broken machine on our production floor caused a slight delay last time. However, such problems were appropriately addressed and they will receive our supplies by the end of this week, at the latest. That's great. But you had better double check with the delivery company. I don't want any problem to occur during the delivery. Okay, let me call Mr. Schilt at Pacific Express right away. Sam, I'd like to know if you shipped laser toner cartridges and other printer and toner supplies from the warehouse this morning. I want you to make sure these items are delivered to Bear Securities in Denver on time. Everything is going as planned, Ms. Black. Actually, some broken machine on our production floor caused a slight delay last time. However, such problems were appropriately addressed and they will receive our supplies by the end of this week, at the latest. That's great. But you had better double check with the delivery company. I don't want any problem to occur during the delivery. Okay, let me call Mr. Schilt at Pacific Express right away. Sam, I'd like to know if you shipped laser toner cartridges and other printer and toner supplies from the warehouse this morning. I want you to make sure these items are delivered to Bear Securities in Denver on time. Everything is going as planned, Ms. Black. Actually, some broken machine on our production floor caused a slight delay last time. However, such problems were appropriately addressed and they will receive our supplies by the end of this week, at the latest. That's great. But you had better double check with the delivery company. I don't want any problem to occur during the delivery. Okay, let me call Mr. Schilt at Pacific Express right away. Hello, this is Tim Rice from TGX Corp. I'm calling to order 20 new laptops from your store. I saw your X20 model in your catalog and I think I like it. I'd like to make sure it has a fast internal hard drive and a reliable dual core CPU. It absolutely does. I think you made a great choice. That model is one of our most popular laptops this year. You said you need 20 laptops, right? Your total comes to $25,000. I'm afraid we don't apply quantity discounts on orders fewer than 50. Oh, it sounds too expensive. I know it's quite a small order, but we are one of your biggest customers. Last time we purchased over 100 printers at your store. So, can you make an exception for us this time? In fact, it's difficult for us to make both ends meet due to the recent fierce price competition. Well, I'm not in a position to make that kind of decision. I'll talk to our vice president regarding your request when he comes back from his business trip tomorrow. I'll give you a ring as soon as I get the answer from him. Hello, this is Tim Rice from TGX Corp. I'm calling to order 20 new laptops from your store. I saw your X20 model in your catalog and I think I like it. I'd like to make sure it has a fast internal hard drive and a reliable dual-core CPU. It absolutely does. I think you made a great choice. That model is one of our most popular laptops this year. You said you need 20 laptops, right? Your total comes to $25,000. I'm afraid we don't apply quantity discounts on orders fewer than 50. Oh, it sounds too expensive. I know it's quite a small order, but we are one of your biggest customers. Last time we purchased over 100 printers at your store. So, can you make an exception for us this time? In fact, it's difficult for us to make both ends meet due to the recent fierce price competition. Well, I'm not in a position to make that kind of decision. I'll talk to our vice president regarding your request when he comes back from his business trip tomorrow. I'll give you a ring as soon as I get the answer from him. Hello, this is Tim Rice from TGX Corp. I'm calling to order 20 new laptops from your store. I saw your X20 model in your catalog and I think I like it. I'd like to make sure it has a fast internal hard drive and a reliable dual core CPU. It absolutely does. I think you made a great choice. That model is one of our most popular laptops this year. You said you need 20 laptops, right? Your total comes to $25,000. I'm afraid we don't apply quantity discounts on orders fewer than 50. Oh, it sounds too expensive. I know it's quite a small order, but we are one of your biggest customers. Last time we purchased over 100 printers at your store. So, can you make an exception for us this time? In fact, it's difficult for us to make both ends meet due to the recent fierce price competition. Well, I'm not in a position to make that kind of decision. I'll talk to our vice president regarding your request when he comes back from his business trip tomorrow. I'll give you a ring as soon as I get the answer from him. 
Tom, I was relocated to our Seattle branch office last week, but there are not enough chairs we can use here. Do you happen to know a good place to buy them at a reasonable price? There is an office furniture store on Fifth Street. It's situated between the Central Bus Station and Kiko Gas Station. It's called Super Office Furniture. It offers a wide variety of quality office chairs. You won't be disappointed. As it closes at six, you need to hurry if you want to buy one today. I think I should leave now. There's just thirty minutes left before it closes. As I'm not familiar with the area, I'd better take a taxi. You don't have to, Jane. It is just a ten-minute walk from here. Follow me, and I can walk you there. Tom, I was relocated to our Seattle branch office last week, but there are not enough chairs we can use here. Do you happen to know a good place to buy them at a reasonable price? There is an office furniture store on Fifth Street. It's situated between the Central Bus Station and Kiko Gas Station. It's called Super Office Furniture. It offers a wide variety of quality office chairs. You won't be disappointed. As it closes at six, you need to hurry if you want to buy one today. I think I should leave now. There's just thirty minutes left before it closes. As I'm not familiar with the area, I'd better take a taxi. You don't have to, Jane. It is just a ten-minute walk from here. Follow me, and I can walk you there. Tom, I was relocated to our Seattle branch office last week, but there are not enough chairs we can use here. Do you happen to know a good place to buy them at a reasonable price? There is an office furniture store on Fifth Street. It's situated between the Central Bus Station and Kiko Gas Station. It's called Super Office Furniture. It offers a wide variety of quality office chairs. You won't be disappointed. As it closes at six, you need to hurry if you want to buy one today. I think I should leave now. There's just thirty minutes left before it closes. As I'm not familiar with the area, I'd better take a taxi. You don't have to, Jane. It is just a ten-minute walk from here. Follow me, and I can walk you there. Peter, I think we have a problem. It looks like we're out of paper for the laser printer, and we have a lot of materials to print for this regional sales meeting we're hosting tomorrow. No worries. We'll be getting a few boxes delivered this morning. I noticed we were running low on paper a few days ago, and called the office supply warehouse to order some. Oh, it's no problem then. I can print the agenda and materials this afternoon, and have everything ready for tomorrow. Peter, I think we have a problem. It looks like we're out of paper for the laser printer, and we have a lot of materials to print for this regional sales meeting we're hosting tomorrow. No worries. We'll be getting a few boxes delivered this morning. I noticed we were running low on paper a few days ago, and called the office supply warehouse to order some. Oh, it's no problem then. I can print the agenda and materials this afternoon, and have everything ready for tomorrow. Peter, I think we have a problem. It looks like we're out of paper for the laser printer, and we have a lot of materials to print for this regional sales meeting we're hosting tomorrow. No worries. We'll be getting a few boxes delivered this morning. I noticed we were running low on paper a few days ago, and called the office supply warehouse to order some. Oh, it's no problem then. I can print the agenda and materials this afternoon, and have everything ready for tomorrow. Minji, something's wrong with my computer. It won't connect to the internet, and I need to send some documents to our legal team in Chicago. Have you tried restarting it? Sometimes that's all it takes. No,、oh, I tried that already, but I still can't get on the internet. I'm concerned because I promised to email these documents in time for the meeting with our lawyers at three o'clock. Well, let me take a look. But in the meantime, why don't you save the files onto a disk and email them from a different computer? Minji, something's wrong with my computer. It won't connect to the internet, and I need to send some documents to our legal team in Chicago. Have you tried restarting it? Sometimes that's all it takes. No,、oh, I tried that already, but I still can't get on the internet. I'm concerned because I promised to email these documents in time for the meeting with our lawyers at three o'clock. Well, let me take a look. But in the meantime, why don't you save the files onto a disk and email them from a different computer? Minji, something's wrong with my computer. It won't connect to the internet, and I need to send some documents to our legal team in Chicago. Have you tried restarting it? Sometimes that's all it takes. No,、oh, I tried that already, but I still can't get on the internet. I'm concerned because I promised to email these documents in time for the meeting with our lawyers at three o'clock. Well, let me take a look. 
But in the meantime, why don't you save the files onto a disk and email them from a different computer? Roxanne, are you having any problems with your computer? Mine hasn't been working right since they upgraded everyone's computer yesterday. Actually, all of my programs have been running much faster. I'm really impressed with the new software. What's the problem with yours? I can't play any audio files. The speakers are on and the volume is turned up as high as it can go, but I still can't hear anything. Did you check the speaker cables? Maybe one of the cables is loose and it's not connecting the computer and the speakers correctly. Roxanne, are you having any problems with your computer? Mine hasn't been working right since they upgraded everyone's computer yesterday. Actually, all of my programs have been running much faster. I'm really impressed with the new software. What's the problem with yours? I can't play any audio files. The speakers are on and the volume is turned up as high as it can go, but I still can't hear anything. Did you check the speaker cables? Maybe one of the cables is loose and it's not connecting the computer and the speakers correctly. Roxanne, are you having any problems with your computer? Mine hasn't been working right since they upgraded everyone's computer yesterday. Actually, all of my programs have been running much faster. I'm really impressed with the new software. What's the problem with yours? I can't play any audio files. The speakers are on and the volume is turned up as high as it can go, but I still can't hear anything. Did you check the speaker cables? Maybe one of the cables is loose and it's not connecting the computer and the speakers correctly. Hello, Scott. Do you have a minute? I have some problems with my computer, and I'd like you to take a look at it if you are free. You must be kidding, Julia. I thought your computer worked well. It has been working great since you bought it last month, hasn't it? What seems to be the problem, anyway? Well, an error message that I have never seen before popped up when I tried to run the spreadsheet program this morning. So I restarted the computer, but the same thing happened over and over again. I will get into big trouble unless I can get it repaired as soon as possible. I have to prepare my presentation for tomorrow's meeting, and I really need the data saved on my computer. Actually, I'm busy upgrading the computer server right now, but I can get Peter over to you in a few minutes. He's a good technician and knows how to deal with that kind of problem. I'm sure he can take care of it for you. Hello, Scott. Do you have a minute? I have some problems with my computer, and I'd like you to take a look at it if you are free. You must be kidding, Julia. I thought your computer worked well. It has been working great since you bought it last month, hasn't it? What seems to be the problem, anyway? Well, an error message that I have never seen before popped up when I tried to run the spreadsheet program this morning. So I restarted the computer, but the same thing happened over and over again. I will get into big trouble unless I can get it repaired as soon as possible. I have to prepare my presentation for tomorrow's meeting, and I really need the data saved on my computer. Actually, I'm busy upgrading the computer server right now, but I can get Peter over to you in a few minutes. He's a good technician and knows how to deal with that kind of problem. I'm sure he can take care of it for you. Hello, Scott. Do you have a minute? I have some problems with my computer, and I'd like you to take a look at it if you are free. You must be kidding, Julia. I thought your computer worked well. It has been working great since you bought it last month, hasn't it? What seems to be the problem, anyway? Well, an error message that I have never seen before popped up when I tried to run the spreadsheet program this morning. So I restarted the computer, but the same thing happened over and over again. I will get into big trouble unless I can get it repaired as soon as possible. I have to prepare my presentation for tomorrow's meeting, and I really need the data saved on my computer. Actually, I'm busy upgrading the computer server right now, but I can get Peter over to you in a few minutes. He's a good technician and knows how to deal with that kind of problem. I'm sure he can take care of it for you. I've been waiting for the computer technicians all morning. What happened? It's already 11.30. The final report is due tomorrow, but we haven't made any progress since the computer was out of order. Right. They were supposed to get to our office at 11. But a guy from the repair center just called me, and he said they were having trouble finding our building. I gave him directions, and they will probably be here in about half an hour. Hopefully, they'll arrive in time. If we don't get our computer fixed soon, we will be in big trouble. I don't really want to work overtime again. I've been waiting for the computer technicians all morning. 
What happened? It's already 11.30. The final report is due tomorrow, but we haven't made any progress since the computer was out of order. Right. They were supposed to get to our office at 11. But a guy from the repair center just called me, and he said they were having trouble finding our building. I gave him directions, and they will probably be here in about half an hour. Hopefully they'll arrive in time. If we don't get our computer fixed soon, we will be in big trouble. I don't really want to work overtime again. I've been waiting for the computer technicians all morning. What happened? It's already 11.30. The final report is due tomorrow, but we haven't made any progress since the computer was out of order. Right. They were supposed to get to our office at 11. But a guy from the repair center just called me, and he said they were having trouble finding our building. I gave him directions, and they will probably be here in about half an hour. Hopefully they'll arrive in time. If we don't get our computer fixed soon, we will be in big trouble. I don't really want to work overtime again. Angela, could you help me with the new photocopier? I think it might be broken. I can't turn it on for some reason. I have a lot of copies to make and I don't know what to do. Did you try using the energy saving button? It's at the top of the controls. Don't you remember the demonstration last week? No, I missed it. I was sick that day. Well, there is a power saving feature on the photocopier. When the machine's not in use, it looks like it's turned off. Try pressing that button and see if it works. Angela, could you help me with the new photocopier? I think it might be broken. I can't turn it on for some reason. I have a lot of copies to make and I don't know what to do. Did you try using the energy saving button? It's at the top of the controls. Don't you remember the demonstration last week? No, I missed it. I was sick that day. Well, there is a power saving feature on the photocopier. When the machine's not in use, it looks like it's turned off. Try pressing that button and see if it works. Angela, could you help me with the new photocopier? I think it might be broken. I can't turn it on for some reason. I have a lot of copies to make and I don't know what to do. Did you try using the energy saving button? It's at the top of the controls. Don't you remember the demonstration last week? No, I missed it. I was sick that day. Well, there is a power saving feature on the photocopier. When the machine's not in use, it looks like it's turned off. Try pressing that button and see if it works. Hello, I'm calling to see if you can give me a hand. I purchased a laptop computer from one of your stores half a year ago, but I think it has a fatal problem. It often crashes when I have multiple windows open at the same time. I have never experienced that before. Well, I can't tell you exactly what the problem is. Why don't you bring it back to the store and get it examined? All our computers have a two-year warranty, so your laptop is still covered. You can get it repaired or replaced free of charge as long as you have the original receipt. I wish I could take it to the store, but I'm afraid I moved away from that area a month ago. It's not very convenient for me to come all the way back to repair it. To be honest, it's too far. In that case, you can send it directly to the manufacturer by post. I'll let you know the address and contact numbers if you'd like. Hello, I'm calling to see if you can give me a hand. I purchased a laptop computer from one of your stores half a year ago, but I think it has a fatal problem. It often crashes when I have multiple windows open at the same time. I have never experienced that before. Well, I can't tell you exactly what the problem is. Why don't you bring it back to the store and get it examined? All our computers have a two-year warranty, so your laptop is still covered. You can get it repaired or replaced free of charge as long as you have the original receipt. I wish I could take it to the store, but I'm afraid I moved away from that area a month ago. It's not very convenient for me to come all the way back to repair it. To be honest, it's too far. In that case, you can send it directly to the manufacturer by post. I'll let you know the address and contact numbers if you'd like. Hello, I'm calling to see if you can give me a hand. I purchased a laptop computer from one of your stores half a year ago, but I think it has a fatal problem. It often crashes when I have multiple windows open at the same time. I have never experienced that before. Well, I can't tell you exactly what the problem is. Why don't you bring it back to the store and get it examined? All our computers have a two-year warranty, so your laptop is still covered. You can get it repaired or replaced free of charge as long as you have the original receipt. I wish I could take it to the store, but I'm afraid I moved away from that area a month ago. It's not very convenient for me to come all the way back to repair it. To be honest, it's too far.
In that case, you can send it directly to the manufacturer by post. I'll let you know the address and contact numbers if you'd like. Excuse me, I'm here to buy a laptop computer, but I don't have a lot of knowledge about computers. Don't worry, I think I could help you. What features are you looking for? Well, I'm a college student, so I don't need a high-end personal computer designed for technical or scientific applications. I want something light and portable that can run some basic programs. Then I recommend the new laptop model from Bell. I think the Model 300 XT would be perfect for you. It has a 5-inch display with 800 by 480 resolution. It also supports dual mode function and wireless internet. Also, it comes with a 24-month warranty. If you buy this today, we offer you a laser printer for free. So don't miss this great opportunity. Excuse me, I'm here to buy a laptop computer, but I don't have a lot of knowledge about computers. Don't worry, I think I could help you. What features are you looking for? Well, I'm a college student, so I don't need a high-end personal computer designed for technical or scientific applications. I want something light and portable that can run some basic programs. Then I recommend the new laptop model from Bell. I think the Model 300 XT would be perfect for you. It has a 5-inch display with 800 by 480 resolution. It also supports dual mode function and wireless internet. Also, it comes with a 24-month warranty. If you buy this today, we offer you a laser printer for free. So don't miss this great opportunity. Excuse me, I'm here to buy a laptop computer, but I don't have a lot of knowledge about computers. Don't worry, I think I could help you. What features are you looking for? Well, I'm a college student, so I don't need a high-end personal computer designed for technical or scientific applications. I want something light and portable that can run some basic programs. Then I recommend the new laptop model from Bell. I think the Model 300 XT would be perfect for you. It has a 5-inch display with 800 by 480 resolution. It also supports dual mode function and wireless internet. Also, it comes with a 24-month warranty. If you buy this today, we offer you a laser printer for free. So don't miss this great opportunity. Pardon me, I'm looking for an LCD TV for the living room. Sure, come with me please. This HD 300X model will be an excellent choice. It features high definition resolution and built-in stereo speakers. I bet you will be able to catch up on your favorite sports and latest movies in your house. Wow, it looks fantastic. But it seems too big for our living room. Do you have anything in a smaller size? Of course. Here's a 32-inch flat-screen TV that's suitable for small spaces. It's selling for only $150 today. It is such a bargain. It would be much better to get this one rather than plan of summer vacation. Pardon me, I'm looking for an LCD TV for the living room. Sure, come with me please. This HD 300X model will be an excellent choice. It features high-definition resolution and built-in stereo speakers. I bet you will be able to catch up on your favorite sports and latest movies in your house. Wow, it looks fantastic. But it seems too big for our living room. Do you have anything in a smaller size? Of course. Here's a 32-inch flat-screen TV that's suitable for small spaces. It's selling for only $150 today. It is such a bargain. It would be much better to get this one rather than plan of summer vacation. Pardon me, I'm looking for an LCD TV for the living room. Sure, come with me please. This HD 300X model will be an excellent choice. It features high definition resolution and built-in stereo speakers. I bet you will be able to catch up on your favorite sports and latest movies in your house. Wow, it looks fantastic. But it seems too big for our living room. Do you have anything in a smaller size? Of course. Here's a 32-inch flat screen TV that's suitable for small spaces. It's selling for only $150 today. It is such a bargain. It would be much better to get this one rather than plan of summer vacation. Hi, H&D Computer Customer Service Desk. This is Jerry. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm calling regarding a laptop computer I purchased from one of your stores last week. It has been functioning okay for the past week. When I started it up this morning, everything looked great. However, it shut down automatically when I turned it on this afternoon. After that, the same thing happened over and over again. This is really driving me crazy. Oh, it seems like there's some problem with the hard disk drive. But 
There are other possible reasons for that. It would be better for a technician to have a look at it. Why don't you take it to one of our service centers nearby? That's a good idea. Let me check on the internet to see if there's a center near my place. Hi, H&D Computer Customer Service Desk. This is Jerry. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm calling regarding a laptop computer I purchased from one of your stores last week. It has been functioning okay for the past week. When I started it up this morning, everything looked great. However, it shut down automatically when I turned it on this afternoon. After that, the same thing happened over and over again. This is really driving me crazy. Oh, it seems like there's some problem with the hard disk drive. But there are other possible reasons for that. It would be better for a technician to have a look at it. Why don't you take it to one of our service centers nearby? That's a good idea. Let me check on the internet to see if there's a center near my place. Hi, H&D Computer Customer Service Desk. This is Jerry. What can I do for you? Hello. I'm calling regarding a laptop computer I purchased from one of your stores last week. It has been functioning okay for the past week. When I started it up this morning, everything looked great. However, it shut down automatically when I turned it on this afternoon. After that, the same thing happened over and over again. This is really driving me crazy. Oh, it seems like there's some problem with the hard disk drive. But there are other possible reasons for that. It would be better for a technician to have a look at it. Why don't you take it to one of our service centers nearby? That's a good idea. Let me check on the internet to see if there's a center near my place. I'd like to buy this pink blouse. How much is it? You take credit cards, right? Sorry, we only accept either cash or check. Let me look at the price tag. Oh, that will be $120. Well, I have only a $100 bill in my purse, so I need $20 more in cash. Is there an ATM in this shopping mall? If you can hold this blouse for a moment, I'll go and withdraw some money from the machine. There is one next to the main gate on the first floor. Don't worry, I won't sell it to anyone until you come back. I'd like to buy this pink blouse. How much is it? You take credit cards, right? Sorry, we only accept either cash or check. Let me look at the price tag. Oh, that will be $120. Well, I have only a $100 bill in my purse, so I need $20 more in cash. Is there an ATM in this shopping mall? If you can hold this blouse for a moment, I'll go and withdraw some money from the machine. There is one next to the main gate on the first floor. Don't worry, I won't sell it to anyone until you come back. I'd like to buy this pink blouse. How much is it? You take credit cards, right? Sorry, we only accept either cash or check. Let me look at the price tag. Oh, that will be $120. Well, I have only a $100 bill in my purse, so I need $20 more in cash. Is there an ATM in this shopping mall? If you can hold this blouse for a moment, I'll go and withdraw some money from the machine. There is one next to the main gate on the first floor. Don't worry, I won't sell it to anyone until you come back. Hi Greg, have you made your train reservation for the North American International Motor Show in Detroit on Tuesday? I'm planning to take the overnight train on Monday night. It's going to be a long trip, so I was wondering if you want to travel with me. Actually, I'm thinking of renting a car and I decided to leave earlier on Saturday to have some spare time to tour the city by myself before the exhibition starts. Really? It's a long way to drive. I think you should take breaks more frequently to relieve fatigue while you're behind the wheel. Thanks for your advice, Janet. Maybe you should come with me. Wouldn't it be great if we took turns driving? I'm sure it would be fun. Hi, Greg. Have you made your train reservation for the North American International Motor Show in Detroit on Tuesday? I'm planning to take the overnight train on Monday night. It's going to be a long trip, so I was wondering if you want to travel with me. Actually, I'm thinking of renting a car and I decided to leave earlier on Saturday to have some spare time to tour the city by myself before the exhibition starts. Really? It's a long way to drive. I think you should take breaks more frequently to relieve fatigue while you're behind the wheel. Thanks for your advice, Janet. Maybe you should come with me. Wouldn't it be great if we took turns driving? I'm sure it would be fun. Hi, Greg. Have you made your train reservation for the North American International Motor Show in Detroit on Tuesday? I'm planning to take the overnight train on Monday night. It's going to be a long trip, so I was wondering if you want to travel with me. Actually, I'm thinking of renting a car and I decided to leave earlier on Saturday to have some spare time to tour the city by myself before the exhibition starts. Really? It's a long way to drive. 
I think you should take breaks more frequently to relieve fatigue while you're behind the wheel. Thanks for your advice, Janet. Maybe you should come with me. Wouldn't it be great if we took turns driving? I'm sure it would be fun. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a round trip flight ticket to Sydney. I'm supposed to attend the convention there. I want to leave from JFK Airport on April 4th and come back here on April 9th. Okay, sir. Let me see what I can do for you. Oh, you're in luck. There's one seat available in economy class. The flight departs at 10 a.m. on the 4th and returns at 8 p.m. on the 9th. How does that sound? That's great. How much will it cost? We're offering a 25% discount on every April flight because it's off season. So your total comes to $1,450. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a round trip flight ticket to Sydney. I'm supposed to attend the convention there. I want to leave from JFK Airport on April 4th and come back here on April 9th. Okay, sir. Let me see what I can do for you. Oh, you're in luck. There's one seat available in economy class. The flight departs at 10 a.m. on the 4th and returns at 8 p.m. on the 9th. How does that sound? That's great. How much will it cost? We're offering a 25% discount on every April flight because it's off season. So your total comes to $1,450. Excuse me, I'd like to buy a round trip flight ticket to Sydney. I'm supposed to attend the convention there. I want to leave from JFK Airport on April 4th and come back here on April 9th. Okay, sir. Let me see what I can do for you. Oh, you're in luck. There's one seat available in economy class. The flight departs at 10 a.m. on the 4th and returns at 8 p.m. on the 9th. How does that sound? That's great. How much will it cost? We're offering a 25% discount on every April flight because it's off season. So your total comes to $1,450. Excuse me. I need to be on the next bus to the airport. Do you have any idea which bus I need to take to get there? Yes, you want the number 142 bus. It leaves for the airport every 30 minutes. According to the schedule, the next one will be arriving at 8 o'clock. The bus stop is right around the corner, on your right. You can't miss it. Great. One ticket then, please. You can purchase the ticket directly from the driver. This is just an information booth. We're not allowed to sell tickets here. Excuse me. I need to be on the next bus to the airport. Do you have any idea which bus I need to take to get there? Yes. You want the number 142 bus. It leaves for the airport every 30 minutes. According to the schedule, the next one will be arriving at 8 o'clock. The bus stop is right around the corner, on your right. You can't miss it. Great. One ticket then, please. You can purchase the ticket directly from the driver. This is just an information booth. We're not allowed to sell tickets here. Excuse me. I need to be on the next bus to the airport. Do you have any idea which bus I need to take to get there? Yes. You want the number 142 bus. It leaves for the airport every 30 minutes. According to the schedule, the next one will be arriving at 8 o'clock. The bus stop is right around the corner, on your right. You can't miss it. Great. One ticket then, please. You can purchase the ticket directly from the driver. This is just an information booth. We're not allowed to sell tickets here. Pardon me. When is the next train to Toronto? I'm scheduled to attend an important luncheon at 1 p.m., and I want to be there on time. The next one is supposed to leave in 10 minutes at 10.30 a.m. That's the express train and it takes less than two hours to get there. I'm sure you will arrive no later than 12.30 p.m. That's great. But isn't it a lot more expensive than the regular train? Not much. It's just $60 each way, so there's a $5 difference. However, the price is going up by 20% as of next week, which is the start of the peak summer season. Pardon me. When is the next train to Toronto? I'm scheduled to attend an important luncheon at 1 p.m., and I want to be there on time. The next one is supposed to leave in 10 minutes at 10.30 a.m. That's the express train, and it takes less than two hours to get there. I'm sure you will arrive no later than 12.30 p.m. That's great. But isn't it a lot more expensive than the regular train? Not much. It's just $60 each way, so there's a $5 difference. However, the price is going up by 20% as of next week, 
which is the start of the peak summer season. Pardon me, when is the next train to Toronto? I'm scheduled to attend an important luncheon at 1 p.m., and I want to be there on time. The next one is supposed to leave in 10 minutes at 10.30 a.m. That's the express train, and it takes less than two hours to get there. I'm sure you will arrive no later than 12.30 p.m. That's great. But isn't it a lot more expensive than the regular train? Not much. It's just $60 each way, so there's a $5 difference. However, the price is going up by 20% as of next week, which is the start of the peak summer season. Excuse me, does this bus go to the Pacific Aquarium? It used to, but the bus route I'm driving has been changed lately. I think you need to take the 20A bus instead. It will take you to the main entrance of the aquarium in half an hour. Thank you. By the way, does that bus stop here as well? No, it stops across the street. Just walk down this road and you'll see a crosswalk. Cross the street there and you'll find the bus stop right next to the bank. Excuse me, does this bus go to the Pacific Aquarium? It used to, but the bus route I'm driving has been changed lately. I think you need to take the 20A bus instead. It will take you to the main entrance of the aquarium in half an hour. Thank you. By the way, does that bus stop here as well? No, it stops across the street. Just walk down this road and you'll see a crosswalk. Cross the street there and you'll find the bus stop right next to the bank. Excuse me, does this bus go to the Pacific Aquarium? It used to, but the bus route I'm driving has been changed lately. I think you need to take the 20A bus instead. It will take you to the main entrance of the aquarium in half an hour. Thank you. By the way, does that bus stop here as well? No, it stops across the street. Just walk down this road and you'll see a crosswalk. Cross the street there and you'll find the bus stop right next to the bank. I heard you went to that new restaurant on Queen Street. What's the name of it again? It's called The Walnut Tree. It was great. Terrific food, fast service, pleasant setting. That's good to know. I have some clients coming in from out of town next week, and I'd like to take them to some place nice. How are the prices? Not bad at all. Oh, and here, I got one of their business cards with their address and phone number. You can have it. I heard you went to that new restaurant on Queen Street. What's the name of it again? It's called The Walnut Tree. It was great. Terrific food, fast service, pleasant setting. That's good to know. I have some clients coming in from out of town next week, and I'd like to take them to some place nice. How are the prices? Not bad at all. Oh, and here, I got one of their business cards with their address and phone number. You can have it. I heard you went to that new restaurant on Queen Street. What's the name of it again? It's called The Walnut Tree. It was great. Terrific food, fast service, pleasant setting. That's good to know. I have some clients coming in from out of town next week, and I'd like to take them to some place nice. How are the prices? Not bad at all. Oh, and here, I got one of their business cards with their address and phone number. You can have it. Hello, Jenny. I'm supposed to go to a new Italian restaurant on Robson Street after work today. Peter in accounting and Jack in sales will come with me. Are you interested in joining us? Sure, Catherine. I'm in the mood for pizza today. What's the name of the restaurant anyway? It's called Venice. I read a review of the restaurant in a cooking magazine the other day. The critics speak highly of its seafood pizza. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. What time shall we meet? It is just a 10-minute drive from our office. I think I'll get off work at 6 p.m. today. How about meeting at 6.20 in the lobby? Hello, Jenny. I'm supposed to go to a new Italian restaurant on Robson Street after work today. Peter in accounting and Jack in sales will come with me. Are you interested in joining us? Sure, Catherine. I'm in the mood for pizza today. What's the name of the restaurant anyway? It's called Venice. I read a review of the restaurant in a cooking magazine the other day. The critics speak highly of its seafood pizza. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. What time shall we meet? It is just a 10-minute drive from our office. I think I'll get off work at 6 p.m. today. How about meeting at 6.20 in the lobby? Hello, Jenny. I'm supposed to go to a new Italian restaurant on Robson Street after work today. Peter in accounting and Jack in sales will come with me. Are you interested in joining us? Sure, Catherine. I'm in the mood for pizza today. What's the name of the restaurant anyway? It's called Venice. I read a review of the restaurant in a cooking magazine the other day. The critics speak highly of its seafood pizza. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. What time shall we meet? 
It is just a ten-minute drive from our office. I think I'll get off work at six p.m. today. How about meeting at six twenty in the lobby? Hey Sam, have you tried the new seafood restaurant on Glory Avenue? Yes, I went there with a colleague a couple of weeks ago. The food was great, but the prices were much higher than I'd expected. Oh really? How about the atmosphere? I read an article the other day, and it said that a warm and friendly ambiance matches the food they serve. That's right. It has a pretty nice atmosphere, and the servers are very kind. Actually, I have a dinner appointment with Mark in marketing this evening. Would you like to join us? Hey Sam, have you tried the new seafood restaurant on Glory Avenue? Yes, I went there with a colleague a couple of weeks ago. The food was great, but the prices were much higher than I'd expected. Oh really? How about the atmosphere? I read an article the other day, and it said that a warm and friendly ambiance matches the food they serve. That's right. It has a pretty nice atmosphere, and the servers are very kind. Actually, I have a dinner appointment with Mark in marketing this evening. Would you like to join us? Hey Sam, have you tried the new seafood restaurant on Glory Avenue? Yes, I went there with a colleague a couple of weeks ago. The food was great, but the prices were much higher than I'd expected. Oh really? How about the atmosphere? I read an article the other day, and it said that a warm and friendly ambiance matches the food they serve. That's right. It has a pretty nice atmosphere, and the servers are very kind. Actually, I have a dinner appointment with Mark in marketing this evening. Would you like to join us? Tim, have you been to the new bakery that just opened right next to our company's main entrance? Whenever I pass by it, the place seems packed with people. You mean Mary's Bakery? Actually, I haven't been there before, but I want to go really badly. I was told it serves tasty pastries. In addition, starting next Monday, it will begin to carry a wide range of coffees in association with Heaven Coffee Limited. That sounds awesome. I'm a big fan of Heaven Coffee. Plus, that will make grabbing a coffee close to work more convenient than ever. Tim, have you been to the new bakery that just opened right next to our company's main entrance? Whenever I pass by it, the place seems packed with people. You mean Mary's Bakery? Actually, I haven't been there before, but I want to go really badly. I was told it serves tasty pastries. In addition, starting next Monday, it will begin to carry a wide range of coffees in association with Heaven Coffee Limited. That sounds awesome. I'm a big fan of Heaven Coffee. Plus, that will make grabbing a coffee close to work more convenient than ever. Tim, have you been to the new bakery that just opened right next to our company's main entrance? Whenever I pass by it, the place seems packed with people. You mean Mary's Bakery? Actually, I haven't been there before, but I want to go really badly. I was told it serves tasty pastries. In addition, starting next Monday, it will begin to carry a wide range of coffees in association with Heaven Coffee Limited. That sounds awesome. I'm a big fan of Heaven Coffee. Plus, that will make grabbing a coffee close to work more convenient than ever. This is Richard Griffin from Lincoln Press. I'd like to check the food order I placed with your restaurant for a luncheon here next Monday. I ordered assorted sandwiches, beverages, and cookies for dessert. Yes, Mr. Griffin, I have your order right here in front of me. Our restaurant's driver will deliver your lunch to the lobby of Lincoln Press headquarters by 11:30 that morning, and as you know, the total of $74 will be due at the time of delivery. Yes, that's fine. I'll leave the money with the receptionist at the front desk. This is Richard Griffin from Lincoln Press. I'd like to check the food order I placed with your restaurant for a luncheon here next Monday. I ordered assorted sandwiches, beverages, and cookies for dessert. Yes, Mr. Griffin, I have your order right here in front of me. Our restaurant's driver will deliver your lunch to the lobby of Lincoln Press headquarters by 11:30 that morning. And as you know, the total of seventy-four dollars will be due at the time of delivery. Yes, that's fine. I'll leave the money with the receptionist at the front desk. This is Richard Griffin from Lincoln Press. I'd like to check the food order I placed with your restaurant for a luncheon here next Monday. I ordered assorted sandwiches, beverages, and cookies for dessert. Yes, Mr. Griffin, I have your order right here in front of me. 
Our restaurant's driver will deliver your lunch to the lobby of Lincoln Press Headquarters by 11.30 that morning. And as you know, the total of $74 will be due at the time of delivery. Yes, that's fine. I'll leave the money with the receptionist. Ms. Weiss, I'm really enjoying this exhibit of your paintings. I especially like the large landscape of the desert. Thank you. I've recently returned from a trip to North Africa. Most of my paintings in this gallery were influenced by my visit there. How interesting. Is it possible to buy your artwork? I'd love to purchase the landscape for my office. I'm sorry, but I've already promised this painting to another customer. But I have a similar one at my studio. I can email you a picture to see if you'd be interested in that one instead. Ms. Weiss, I'm really enjoying this exhibit of your paintings. I especially like the large landscape of the desert. Thank you. I've recently returned from a trip to North Africa. Most of my paintings in this gallery were influenced by my visit there. How interesting. Is it possible to buy your artwork? I'd love to purchase the landscape for my office. I'm sorry, but I've already promised this painting to another customer. But I have a similar one at my studio. I can email you a picture to see if you'd be interested in that one instead. Ms. Weiss, I'm really enjoying this exhibit of your paintings. I especially like the large landscape of the desert. Thank you. I've recently returned from a trip to North Africa. Most of my paintings in this gallery were influenced by my visit there. How interesting. Is it possible to buy your artwork? I'd love to purchase the landscape for my office. I'm sorry, but I've already promised this painting to another customer. But I have a similar one at my studio. I can email you a picture to see if you'd be interested in that one instead. I'd like four tickets for admission to the museum, but I was wondering if the museum offers students a discount. My son is researching about the early works of Van Gogh. Yes, as a matter of fact, for students with valid identification, the museum admission fee is only $10. But if you are a frequent visitor of the museum, we offer a one-year membership for $50. That includes free admission to all exhibits and a discount on all gift shop purchases. Thanks. That's a really good deal. But we're actually visiting from out of town. I'd like four tickets for admission to the museum, but I was wondering if the museum offers students a discount. My son is researching about the early works of Van Gogh. Yes, as a matter of fact, for students with valid identification, the museum admission fee is only $10. But if you are a frequent visitor of the museum, we offer a one-year membership for $50. That includes free admission to all exhibits and a discount on all gift shop purchases. Thanks. That's a really good deal but we're actually visiting from out of town. I'd like four tickets for admission to the museum, but I was wondering if the museum offers students a discount. My son is researching about the early works of Van Gogh. Yes, as a matter of fact, for students with valid identification, the museum admission fee is only $10. But if you are a frequent visitor of the museum, we offer a one-year membership for $50. That includes free admission to all exhibits and a discount on all gift shop purchases. Thanks. That's a really good deal. But we're actually visiting from out of town. Are you interested in seeing that new movie with Jonathan Baker, the famous teenage actor? Yes. I heard it's based on Philip Norman's best-selling book. Apparently, Jonathan Baker spent 10 months learning to play the piano for the part. I heard that too. He's up for an Oscar, you know. Do you want to see it with me, Friday or Saturday night? I can't go see it Friday because I already have plans, but Saturday would be fine. Are you interested in seeing that new movie with Jonathan Baker, the famous teenage actor? Yes. I heard it's based on Philip Norman's best-selling book. Apparently, Jonathan Baker spent 10 months learning to play the piano for the part. I heard that too. He's up for an Oscar, you know. Do you want to see it with me, Friday or Saturday night? I can't go see it Friday because I already have plans, but Saturday would be fine. Are you interested in seeing that new movie with Jonathan Baker, the famous teenage actor? Yes. I heard it's based on Philip Norman's best-selling book. Apparently, Jonathan Baker spent 10 months learning to play the piano for the part. I heard that too. He's up for an Oscar, you know. Do you want to see it with me Friday or Saturday night? 
I can't go see it Friday because I already have plans, but Saturday would be fine. Hey Jim, did you hear the news? The Royal Gallery on Main Street is featuring works of art from Impressionist Robert Taylor as of next Monday. I didn't know that. I'd like to check it out though. Do you know how long the exhibit is on for? It's ending at the end of the month. Ashley, my cousin Kate, is coming to see me this Thursday, and I'm planning to take her to the exhibition this Saturday. She's an art major, so she'll love it. It's been such a long time since I last saw Kate. In fact, it must have been at our high school graduation in 2005. Could you ask her to give me a call when she's in town? I'd love to see her. Hey, Jim, did you hear the news? The Royal Gallery on Main Street is featuring works of art from Impressionist Robert Taylor as of next Monday. I didn't know that. I'd like to check it out, though. Do you know how long the exhibit is on for? It's ending at the end of the month. Ashley, my cousin Kate, is coming to see me this Thursday, and I'm planning to take her to the exhibition this Saturday. She's an art major, so she'll love it. It's been such a long time since I last saw Kate. In fact, it must have been at our high school graduation in 2005. Could you ask her to give me a call when she's in town? I'd love to see her. Hey, Jim, did you hear the news? The Royal Gallery on Main Street is featuring works of art from Impressionist Robert Taylor as of next Monday. I didn't know that. I'd like to check it out, though. Do you know how long the exhibit is on for? It's ending at the end of the month. Ashley, my cousin Kate, is coming to see me this Thursday, and I'm planning to take her to the exhibition this Saturday. She's an art major, so she'll love it. It's been such a long time since I last saw Kate. In fact, it must have been at our high school graduation in 2005. Could you ask her to give me a call when she's in town? I'd love to see her. Hi, Betty. Are you free this Saturday? I got free tickets to the outdoor jazz concert being held in Stanley Park at 7 p.m. And I was wondering if you want to go with me. Why not? I'm a big fan of jazz, and I love to go to concerts. May I ask who will be playing? Sure. One of the most celebrated jazz musicians, Peter Haywood, will be performing. Also, the multi-award-winning jazz drummer Sean Dawson will be there. Wow, that sounds amazing. Why don't we get together beforehand so that we can eat together? Hi, Betty. Are you free this Saturday? I got free tickets to the outdoor jazz concert being held in Stanley Park at 7 p.m. And I was wondering if you want to go with me. Why not? I'm a big fan of jazz and I love to go to concerts. May I ask who will be playing? Sure. One of the most celebrated jazz musicians, Peter Haywood, will be performing. Also, the multi-award-winning jazz drummer Sean Dawson will be there. Wow, that sounds amazing. Why don't we get together beforehand so that we can eat together? Hi, Betty. Are you free this Saturday? I got free tickets to the outdoor jazz concert being held in Stanley Park at 7 p.m. And I was wondering if you want to go with me. Why not? I'm a big fan of jazz and I love to go to concerts. May I ask who will be playing? Sure. One of the most celebrated jazz musicians, Peter Haywood, will be performing. Also, the multi-award-winning jazz drummer Sean Dawson will be there. Wow, that sounds amazing. Why don't we get together beforehand so that we can eat together? Hi, my physician called in a prescription to the pharmacy this morning for my allergy medication. My name is Alan Lee. Yes, here it is. You should take two tablets once a day. Be sure to take the medicine with water after you have eaten. Thanks. I'll be glad to stop sneezing. You might find that you experience some drowsiness, so take care if you're driving. Hi, my physician called in a prescription to the pharmacy this morning for my allergy medication. My name is Alan Lee. Yes, here it is. You should take two tablets once a day. Be sure to take the medicine with water after you have eaten. Thanks. I'll be glad to stop sneezing. You might find that you experience some drowsiness, so take care if you're driving. Hi, my physician called in a prescription to the pharmacy this morning for my allergy medication. My name is Alan Lee. Yes, here it is. You should take two tablets once a day. Be sure to take the medicine with water after you have eaten. Thanks. I'll be glad to stop sneezing. You might find that you experience some drowsiness, so take care if you're driving. This is the registration desk. May I help you? 
Hi, I was calling to reschedule an appointment I have with Dr. Goto on June 13th. Have you been a patient here at the Mara Clinic before, sir? Yes, just once. I saw Dr. Hansen at the end of last year. I think it was in December. This is the registration desk. May I help you? Hi, I was calling to reschedule an appointment I have with Dr. Goto on June 13th. Have you been a patient here at the Mara Clinic before, sir? Yes, just once. I saw Dr. Hansen at the end of last year. I think it was in December. This is the registration desk. May I help you? Hi, I was calling to reschedule an appointment I have with Dr. Goto on June 13th. Have you been a patient here at the Mara Clinic before, sir? Yes, just once. I saw Dr. Hansen at the end of last year. I think it was in December. Hi, Mr. Armstrong. This is Jenny Wilson, the receptionist at Morningside Medical Group. I just got your message about changing your appointment for today. Yes, I've just been asked to attend a meeting with an important client later today, and that means I can't make it to see Dr. Lee at four. Is there any way you could fit me in earlier today? Hmm. No, I'm sorry. We're completely booked for today. Another patient has cancelled an appointment for eight o'clock tomorrow morning, though. Can you come in then? Sure, that's no problem. I'll be there by eight. Thanks so much for your help. Hi, Mr. Armstrong. This is Jenny Wilson, the receptionist at Morningside Medical Group. I just got your message about changing your appointment for today. Yes, I've just been asked to attend a meeting with an important client later today, and that means I can't make it to see Dr. Lee at four. Is there any way you could fit me in earlier today? Hmm. No, I'm sorry. We're completely booked for today. Another patient has cancelled an appointment for eight o'clock tomorrow morning, though. Can you come in then? Sure, that's no problem. I'll be there by eight. Thanks so much for your help. Hi, Mr. Armstrong. This is Jenny Wilson, the receptionist at Morningside Medical Group. I just got your message about changing your appointment for today. Yes, I've just been asked to attend a meeting with an important client later today, and that means I can't make it to see Dr. Lee at four. Is there any way you could fit me in earlier today? Hmm. No, I'm sorry. We're completely booked for today. Another patient has cancelled an appointment for eight o'clock tomorrow morning, though. Can you come in then? Sure, that's no problem. I'll be there by eight. Thanks so much for your help. This is Eva Flores. I've been a patient of Dr. Morgan's for some time now, but I'll be moving to Boston for my work. I'm calling to see if I can get a copy of my medical records to take with me. You could, but our usual policy is to transfer patient records directly to the doctor. Do you have a phone number for your new medical office? I could call there and arrange to send the records. I don't know yet who my new doctor will be. Would it be a problem if you have to keep my files for a while? I'll let you know as soon as I know who I'll be seeing. No, that's no problem at all. But first, you'll have to sign a form giving us your permission. You're required to do that before we can send any information. This is Eva Flores. I've been a patient of Dr. Morgan's for some time now, but I'll be moving to Boston for my work. I'm calling to see if I can get a copy of my medical records to take with me. You could, but our usual policy is to transfer patient records directly to the doctor. Do you have a phone number for your new medical office? I could call there and arrange to send the records. I don't know yet who my new doctor will be. Would it be a problem if you have to keep my files for a while? I'll let you know as soon as I know who I'll be seeing. No, that's no problem at all. But first, you'll have to sign a form giving us your permission. You're required to do that before we can send any information. This is Eva Flores. I've been a patient of Dr. Morgan's for some time now, but I'll be moving to Boston for my work. I'm calling to see if I can get a copy of my medical records to take with me. You could, but our usual policy is to transfer patient records directly to the doctor. Do you have a phone number for your new medical office? I could call there and arrange to send the records. I don't know yet who my new doctor will be. Would it be a problem if you have to keep my files for a while? I'll let you know as soon as I know who I'll be seeing. No, that's no problem at all. But first, you'll have to sign a form giving us your permission. You're required to do that before we can send any information. Jane, I need your assistance with something. I have an aggravating headache that won't go away. 
I don't think I can wait until I fly back home to get this taken care of. I'm sorry to hear that. You're right. You should do something for your headache right away. Can you recommend a physician in the area? I'm hoping I can find someone who will see patients on short notice. I'm only in town for two more days. I have a morning flight to catch this coming Wednesday. As a matter of fact, an acquaintance of mine is a doctor. I'll give her a call and see if she can fit you in for an appointment either today or tomorrow. I'm sure she will try her best to squeeze you in. Jane, I need your assistance with something. I have an aggravating headache that won't go away. I don't think I can wait until I fly back home to get this taken care of. I'm sorry to hear that. You're right. You should do something for your headache right away. Can you recommend a physician in the area? I'm hoping I can find someone who will see patients on short notice. I'm only in town for two more days. I have a morning flight to catch this coming Wednesday. As a matter of fact, an acquaintance of mine is a doctor. I'll give her a call and see if she can fit you in for an appointment either today or tomorrow. I'm sure she will try her best to squeeze you in. Jane, I need your assistance with something. I have an aggravating headache that won't go away. I don't think I can wait until I fly back home to get this taken care of. I'm sorry to hear that. You're right. You should do something for your headache right away. Can you recommend a physician in the area? I'm hoping I can find someone who will see patients on short notice. I'm only in town for two more days. I have a morning flight to catch this coming Wednesday. As a matter of fact, an acquaintance of mine is a doctor. I'll give her a call and see if she can fit you in for an appointment either today or tomorrow. I'm sure she will try her best to squeeze you in. Good morning. Was your room comfortable last night, Mr. Smith? Yes, it was. Thank you. By the way, can you tell me where I can get an umbrella at this hotel? I want to pick one up before the tour bus arrives at 9.30. You can get one at the gift shop, but it doesn't open until 9 o'clock. If you're in a hurry, there's a store down the road that sells them. It's 8.30 now. I think I'll just go and have breakfast at the hotel restaurant first. I don't feel like walking out in this rain. Good morning. Was your room comfortable last night, Mr. Smith? Yes, it was. Thank you. By the way, can you tell me where I can get an umbrella at this hotel? I want to pick one up before the tour bus arrives at 9.30. You can get one at the gift shop, but it doesn't open until 9 o'clock. If you're in a hurry, there's a store down the road that sells them. It's 8.30 now. I think I'll just go and have breakfast at the hotel restaurant first. I don't feel like walking out in this rain. Good morning. Was your room comfortable last night, Mr. Smith? Yes, it was. Thank you. By the way, can you tell me where I can get an umbrella at this hotel? I want to pick one up before the tour bus arrives at 9.30. You can get one at the gift shop, but it doesn't open until 9 o'clock. If you're in a hurry, there's a store down the road that sells them. It's 8.30 now. I think I'll just go and have breakfast at the hotel restaurant first. I don't feel like walking out in this rain. I'd like a non-smoking room with a view of the lake, please. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Brown, but we only have suites facing the lake right now, and they're much more expensive. However, we do have rooms facing the park or the city. Would you care to take either one of these rooms? All right. I'll take the room facing the city. Now, could you tell me what time your restaurant opens in the morning? I have an early meeting with a client tomorrow, and I would like to have breakfast before I take off to meet him. I don't think you will have any problems with that. Our restaurant opens at 5 a.m. I'd like a non-smoking room with a view of the lake, please. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Brown, but we only have suites facing the lake right now, and they're much more expensive. However, we do have rooms facing the park or the city. Would you care to take either one of these rooms? All right. I'll take the room facing the city. Now, could you tell me what time your restaurant opens in the morning? I have an early meeting with a client tomorrow, and I would like to have breakfast before I take off to meet him. I don't think you will have any problems with that. Our restaurant opens at 5 a.m. I'd like a non-smoking room with a view of the lake, please. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Brown, but we only have suites facing the lake right now, and they're much more expensive. However, we do have rooms facing the park or the city. Would you care to take either one of these rooms? All right. I'll take the room facing the city. 
Now, could you tell me what time your restaurant opens in the morning? I have an early meeting with a client tomorrow, and I would like to have breakfast before I take off to meet him. I don't think you will have any problems with that. Our restaurant opens at 5 a.m. Here is your room key. I hope you will enjoy your stay here. Thank you. And by the way, I heard there is a swimming pool at this hotel. Can you tell me where it is? Of course. Our pool is located on the basement floor. It's open until 10 every evening. Great. I'll go for a dip in the water before I get some dinner at the restaurant. Thank you. Here is your room key. I hope you will enjoy your stay here. Thank you. And by the way, I heard there is a swimming pool at this hotel. Can you tell me where it is? Of course. Our pool is located on the basement floor. It's open until 10 every evening. Great. I'll go for a dip in the water before I get some dinner at the restaurant. Thank you. Here is your room key. I hope you will enjoy your stay here. Thank you. And by the way, I heard there is a swimming pool at this hotel. Can you tell me where it is? Of course. Our pool is located on the basement floor. It's open until 10 every evening. Great. I'll go for a dip in the water before I get some dinner at the restaurant. Thank you. Most of our hotel guests seem to have trouble with the lighting in our rooms. They complain about being unable to do any work, especially reading. That's true. I've heard that quite often when they check out. How do you think we could provide more light? Well, we could place a lamp by the desk chairs in addition to the ones on the nightstands. That's a good idea. But if we want to buy that many lamps, the regional office has to approve it first. We'll have to write up a proposal for the next regional manager's meeting. Most of our hotel guests seem to have trouble with the lighting in our rooms. They complain about being unable to do any work, especially reading. That's true. I've heard that quite often when they check out. How do you think we could provide more light? Well, we could place a lamp by the desk chairs in addition to the ones on the nightstands. That's a good idea. But if we want to buy that many lamps, the regional office has to approve it first. We'll have to write up a proposal for the next regional manager's meeting. Most of our hotel guests seem to have trouble with the lighting in our rooms. They complain about being unable to do any work, especially reading. That's true. I've heard that quite often when they check out. How do you think we could provide more light? Well, we could place a lamp by the desk chairs in addition to the ones on the nightstands. That's a good idea. But if we want to buy that many lamps, the regional office has to approve it first. We'll have to write up a proposal for the next regional manager's meeting. Hi, this is George Frazier. I'm calling to confirm my room reservation. I'm supposed to be booked at your hotel from March 6th to March 9th. One moment, please, sir. Yes, you're booked for three nights in a deluxe suite room. Right. By the way, I was wondering if your hotel offers airport shuttle service to and from Sydney's airport. I'm flying in late on March 6th, and I'm scheduled to arrive at the airport at around midnight. Sure, but we offer the service for $10 each way with advance notice required. Would you like me to arrange that for you? Hi, this is George Frazier. I'm calling to confirm my room reservation. I'm supposed to be booked at your hotel from March 6th to March 9th. One moment, please, sir. Yes, you're booked for three nights in a deluxe suite room. Right. By the way, I was wondering if your hotel offers airport shuttle service to and from Sydney's airport. I'm flying in late on March 6th, and I'm scheduled to arrive at the airport at around midnight. Sure, but we offer the service for $10 each way with advance notice required. Would you like me to arrange that for you? Hi, this is George Frazier. I'm calling to confirm my room reservation. I'm supposed to be booked at your hotel from March 6th to March 9th. One moment, please, sir. Yes, you're booked for three nights in a deluxe suite room. Right. By the way, I was wondering if your hotel offers airport shuttle service to and from Sydney's airport. I'm flying in late on March 6th, and I'm scheduled to arrive at the airport at around midnight. Sure, but we offer the service for $10 each way with advance notice required. Would you like me to arrange that for you? Welcome to Clark National Bank. How can I help you today? Well, I saw your advertisement in the window that anyone who opens a bank account here will receive a bonus for signing up. So, I'd like to open up an account. Excellent. I'll arrange for you to fill out the paperwork with one of our account representatives. 
Meanwhile, you can take a seat in the reception area and someone will be with you shortly. You'll just need a driver's license, passport, or another official form of photo identification. Welcome to Clark National Bank. How can I help you today? Well, I saw your advertisement in the window that anyone who opens a bank account here will receive a bonus for signing up. So, I'd like to open up an account. Excellent. I'll arrange for you to fill out the paperwork with one of our account representatives. Meanwhile, you can take a seat in the reception area and someone will be with you shortly. You'll just need a driver's license, passport, or another official form of photo identification. Welcome to Clark National Bank. How can I help you today? Well, I saw your advertisement in the window that anyone who opens a bank account here will receive a bonus for signing up. So, I'd like to open up an account. Excellent. I'll arrange for you to fill out the paperwork with one of our account representatives. Meanwhile, you can take a seat in the reception area and someone will be with you shortly. You'll just need a driver's license, passport, or another official form of photo identification. Good morning. I'd like to set up a savings account with your bank. Of course. We can open the account today if you'd like. You'll just have to fill out this form and then I'll need to see some photo identification. I'm afraid I don't have my driver's license with me. Why don't I take this form home, fill it out there, and come back later this afternoon with my ID? Good morning. I'd like to set up a savings account with your bank. Of course. We can open the account today if you'd like. You'll just have to fill out this form and then I'll need to see some photo identification. I'm afraid I don't have my driver's license with me. Why don't I take this form home, fill it out there and come back later this afternoon with my ID? Good morning. I'd like to set up a savings account with your bank. Of course. We can open the account today if you'd like. You'll just have to fill out this form and then I'll need to see some photo identification. I'm afraid I don't have my driver's license with me. Why don't I take this form home, fill it out there and come back later this afternoon with my ID? Excuse me. How much would it cost to send this package to London? It's a gift and I'd like it to be delivered no later than Wednesday if possible. It will be $11.65 if we send it by regular mail. But if you want to ensure that your package is delivered by Wednesday, I suggest using the Express Delivery Service. The Express Delivery Service not only keeps track of where your package is on a daily basis, but ensures it gets to London within two days. That said, the Express Delivery Service would cost an additional $10. Hmm. That's expensive. The price is a bit out of my budget. I'd rather not pay for the express delivery. I'll just take my chances with the regular mail. Can you tell me when it will get there using the regular mail? With our standard service, it should get there by approximately Thursday afternoon. Of course, depending on the volume of mail, it might take a day or two longer. Excuse me, how much would it cost to send this package to London? It's a gift and I'd like it to be delivered no later than Wednesday if possible. It will be $11.65 if we send it by regular mail. But if you want to ensure that your package is delivered by Wednesday, I suggest using the Express Delivery Service. The Express Delivery Service not only keeps track of where your package is on a daily basis, but ensures it gets to London within two days. That said, the Express Delivery Service would cost an additional $10. Hmm. That's expensive. The price is a bit out of my budget. I'd rather not pay for the express delivery. I'll just take my chances with the regular mail. Can you tell me when it will get there using the regular mail? With our standard service, it should get there by approximately Thursday afternoon. Of course, depending on the volume of mail, it might take a day or two longer. Excuse me, how much would it cost to send this package to London? It's a gift and I'd like it to be delivered no later than Wednesday if possible. It will be $11.65 if we send it by regular mail. But if you want to ensure that your package is delivered by Wednesday, I suggest using the Express Delivery Service. The Express Delivery Service not only keeps track of where your package is on a daily basis, but ensures it gets to London within two days. That said, the Express Delivery Service would cost an additional $10. Hmm. That's expensive. The price is a bit out of my budget. I'd rather not pay for the express delivery. 
I'll just take my chances with the regular mail. Can you tell me when it will get there using the regular mail? With our standard service, it should get there by approximately Thursday afternoon. Of course, depending on the volume of mail, it might take a day or two longer. Excuse me, I'd like to send this parcel to Montreal. Could you tell me how much it will cost? Let me weigh that for you. It'll be $15 if you send it by regular mail, sir. Actually, it's a gift for my cousin, and I want it to arrive there by July 5th at the latest. Oh, it's already July 3rd, so I suggest you mail it by express mail to get it to Montreal within two days, but that will cost you $20. Excuse me, I'd like to send this parcel to Montreal. Could you tell me how much it will cost? Let me weigh that for you. It'll be $15 if you send it by regular mail, sir. Actually, it's a gift for my cousin, and I want it to arrive there by July 5th at the latest. Oh, it's already July 3rd, so I suggest you mail it by express mail to get it to Montreal within two days, but that will cost you $20. Excuse me, I'd like to send this parcel to Montreal. Could you tell me how much it will cost? Let me weigh that for you. It'll be $15 if you send it by regular mail, sir. Actually, it's a gift for my cousin, and I want it to arrive there by July 5th at the latest. Oh, it's already July 3rd, so I suggest you mail it by express mail to get it to Montreal within two days, but that will cost you $20. Hi, I'm calling about the office space for rent on Garrison Street. I saw an advertisement posted outside the building. Is it still available? Yes, it is. The previous tenants were three lawyers, so it's currently set up as three offices and a large waiting area with the receptionist's desk. Oh, that sounds like more space than I need. I really only want one office for myself. I've been running an event planning business from my home, but now I have so many clients that I need a little more room. Well, you wouldn't want to pay for more space than you need. I'm the agent for other properties as well. Why don't I send you a list of available office spaces along with their prices? Then you can get back to me if you're interested in any of them. Hi, I'm calling about the office space for rent on Garrison Street. I saw an advertisement posted outside the building. Is it still available? Yes, it is. The previous tenants were three lawyers, so it's currently set up as three offices and a large waiting area with the receptionist's desk. Oh, that sounds like more space than I need. I really only want one office for myself. I've been running an event planning business from my home, but now I have so many clients that I need a little more room. Well, you wouldn't want to pay for more space than you need. I'm the agent for other properties as well. Why don't I send you a list of available office spaces along with their prices? Then you can get back to me if you're interested in any of them. Hi, I'm calling about the office space for rent on Garrison Street. I saw an advertisement posted outside the building. Is it still available? Yes, it is. The previous tenants were three lawyers, so it's currently set up as three offices and a large waiting area with the receptionist's desk. Oh, that sounds like more space than I need. I really only want one office for myself. I've been running an event planning business from my home, but now I have so many clients that I need a little more room. Well, you wouldn't want to pay for more space than you need. I'm the agent for other properties as well. Why don't I send you a list of available office spaces along with their prices? Then you can get back to me if you're interested in any of them. Hi, this is Laura Ivanov from Apartment 2B. I was just wondering if it would be possible to get a copy of my lease. I've misplaced mine, and I want to look over the heating agreement. Sure, I can make you another copy. Our offices are open until 5 if you want to come in today. I have to work late tonight, but I'm sure I can stop by tomorrow before 5. That sounds fine. I'll have a copy of your lease ready first thing in the morning. Hi, this is Laura Ivanov from Apartment 2B. I was just wondering if it would be possible to get a copy of my lease. I've misplaced mine, and I want to look over the heating agreement. Sure, I can make you another copy. Our offices are open until 5 if you want to come in today. 
I have to work late tonight, but I'm sure I can stop by tomorrow before five. That sounds fine. I'll have a copy of your lease ready first thing in the morning. Hi, this is Laura Ivanov from Apartment Two B. I was just wondering if it would be possible to get a copy of my lease. I've misplaced mine, and I want to look over the heating agreement. Sure, I can make you another copy. Our offices are open until five. If you want to come in today, I have to work late tonight, but I'm sure I can stop by tomorrow before five. That sounds fine. I'll have a copy of your lease ready first thing in the morning. Hello, this is Sue Ryan, the tenant in apartment fourteen. My lease expires on Friday, and I'd like to know what the procedure is for vacating the apartment. What do I do with the keys, and how do I get my security deposit back? Well, once you move out, we'll first inspect your apartment for damage. If everything is fine except for normal wear and tear, we'll refund your full security deposit. Otherwise, we deduct the repair costs. All you have to do is return the keys to our office after you move out. Actually, I've already taken all our belongings out, but I'll be out of town for a job interview today and won't be back for a week. Is there no way I can drop by the office to give back the keys during the week? Sure, you can put the keys in an envelope and slide it under the front door of this office any time. We'll just need them before Sunday. Hello, this is Sue Ryan, the tenant in apartment fourteen. My lease expires on Friday, and I'd like to know what the procedure is for vacating the apartment. What do I do with the keys, and how do I get my security deposit back? Well, once you move out, we'll first inspect your apartment for damage. If everything is fine except for normal wear and tear, we'll refund your full security deposit. Otherwise, we deduct the repair costs. All you have to do is return the keys to our office after you move out. Actually, I've already taken all our belongings out, but I'll be out of town for a job interview today and won't be back for a week. Is there no way I can drop by the office to give back the keys during the week? Sure, you can put the keys in an envelope and slide it under the front door of this office any time. We'll just need them before Sunday. Hello, this is Sue Ryan, the tenant in apartment fourteen. My lease expires on Friday, and I'd like to know what the procedure is for vacating the apartment. What do I do with the keys, and how do I get my security deposit back? Well, once you move out, we'll first inspect your apartment for damage. If everything is fine except for normal wear and tear, we'll refund your full security deposit. Otherwise, we deduct the repair costs. All you have to do is return the keys to our office after you move out. Actually, I've already taken all our belongings out, but I'll be out of town for a job interview today and won't be back for a week. Is there no way I can drop by the office to give back the keys during the week? Sure, you can put the keys in an envelope and slide it under the front door of this office any time. We'll just need them before Sunday. I saw the for rent sign on your lobby window. Can you tell me how much the rent is here? Well, our units range from nine hundred to one thousand one hundred dollars a month. However, there is only a two-bedroom unit on the fifth floor left. All the one-bedroom apartments have been rented out. That's perfect. I was looking for a two-bedroom apartment. Would you mind showing me the place now? No problem. Let me just get the key from my apartment. I saw the for rent sign on your lobby window. Can you tell me how much the rent is here? Well, our units range from nine hundred to one thousand one hundred dollars a month. However, there is only a two-bedroom unit on the fifth floor left. All the one-bedroom apartments have been rented out. That's perfect. I was looking for a two-bedroom apartment. Would you mind showing me the place now? No problem. Let me just get the key from my apartment. I saw the for rent sign on your lobby window. Can you tell me how much the rent is here? Well, our units range from nine hundred to one thousand one hundred dollars a month. However, there is only a two-bedroom unit on the fifth floor left. All the one-bedroom apartments have been rented out. That's perfect. I was looking for a two-bedroom apartment. Would you mind showing me the place now? No problem. Let me just get the key from my apartment. Excuse me. I'd like to inquire about making a reservation at one of those vacation homes you have for rent. It's at one o one Queens Road. Yes, that's one of our newer properties on the market. Let's see. The houses are rented out for most of the summer, as that is the high season for traveling. But it is available next weekend. We recently had a last-minute cancellation. That might work. 
but I should consult with my friend before making a decision. We've been talking about taking a vacation together. Here, I can give you the rental brochure to show your friend. It contains all the information you'll need, from the amenities list to available services such as the spa and fitness center. I recommend making up your mind soon, though. The rooms get rented out pretty quickly, and I don't think it will be available for very long. As soon as you make a 10% deposit on the total cost of the unit for three days, I can reserve the room for you. Excuse me, I'd like to inquire about making a reservation at one of those vacation homes you have for rent. It's at 101 Queens Road? Yes, that's one of our newer properties on the market. Let's see. The houses are rented out for most of the summer, as that is the high season for traveling. But it is available next weekend. We recently had a last-minute cancellation. That might work, but I should consult with my friend before making a decision. We've been talking about taking a vacation together. Here, I can give you the rental brochure to show your friend. It contains all the information you'll need, from the amenities list to available services such as the spa and fitness center. I recommend making up your mind soon, though. The rooms get rented out pretty quickly, and I don't think it will be available for very long. As soon as you make a 10% deposit on the total cost of the unit for three days, I can reserve the room for you. Excuse me, I'd like to inquire about making a reservation at one of those vacation homes you have for rent. It's at 101 Queens Road? Yes, that's one of our newer properties on the market. Let's see. The houses are rented out for most of the summer, as that is the high season for traveling. But it is available next weekend. We recently had a last-minute cancellation. That might work, but I should consult with my friend before making a decision. We've been talking about taking a vacation together. Here, I can give you the rental brochure to show your friend. It contains all the information you'll need, from the amenities list to available services such as the spa and fitness center. I recommend making up your mind soon, though. The rooms get rented out pretty quickly, and I don't think it will be available for very long. As soon as you make a 10% deposit on the total cost of the unit for three days, I can reserve the room for you. Mr. Randolph, I think this place would be perfect for your cafe. Queen Street is one of the most popular areas for tourism and shopping, and this building is just two blocks away from the subway station. Yes, it looks great, but I don't think I can afford $1,200 a month in rent. The newspaper ad you ran said you have another space in the Renaissance Mall. Is it still available? I'm sorry, but it was just rented out this morning. But we have several similar places you may want to see. Would you like me to show them to you? I'd appreciate it. Are they all located on Queen Street as well? Mr. Randolph, I think this place would be perfect for your cafe. Queen Street is one of the most popular areas for tourism and shopping, and this building is just two blocks away from the subway station. Yes, it looks great, but I don't think I can afford $1,200 a month in rent. The newspaper ad you ran said you have another space in the Renaissance Mall. Is it still available? I'm sorry, but it was just rented out this morning. But we have several similar places you may want to see. Would you like me to show them to you? I'd appreciate it. Are they all located on Queen Street as well? Mr. Randolph, I think this place would be perfect for your cafe. Queen Street is one of the most popular areas for tourism and shopping, and this building is just two blocks away from the subway station. Yes, it looks great, but I don't think I can afford $1,200 a month in rent. The newspaper ad you ran said you have another space in the Renaissance Mall. Is it still available? I'm sorry, but it was just rented out this morning. But we have several similar places you may want to see. Would you like me to show them to you? I'd appreciate it. Are they all located on Queen Street as well? 